Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a album review uh, today, and I'm sorry that I haven't been making videos lately. I just been taking a break mostly from the YouTube thing for at least a day or so. I just didn't have anything interesting to review until now. So, this album review is for Katy Perry's new album, Smile. I got to hear the Target and Japanese version for it. So, I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for all 19 tracks, and let you know my thoughts on it. So, let's dive into this review. Now, I thought the first song, Never Really Over, was not too bad. I first heard it, like, back in May last year, and I reviewed it if you want to go check out my track review for it, because I think I did a good job on it, but the rest of the songs, they're alright, I wouldn't call them great, um, there's two songs I gave 3.5 out of 5s, at least two songs, no, three songs actually. I didn't think about it until now. I was like, oh crap, I gave them th three songs that 3.5 out of 5s. And those songs were uh, Only Love, Daisy's Oliver Heldon's remix, and High on Your Supply. Those tracks were just average. I wasn't crazy about how they were playing out. The Daisy's remix version was, uh, it was okay, but I wouldn't call it great. It, it almost sounded like a little more auto-tune with her Katy Perry's voice in that song than the Daisy's Oliver Heldon's remix version of that song. Wasn't that crazy about it, but the Smile song, I was actually liking it. It was actually not too bad. Uh, not the End of the World was decent. I wouldn't call it uh, amazing, but it was it was something. Something interesting, but it there were times in the album where her voice fell short from executing well. And then there were some songs that actually did do pretty good. Um... But what makes a woman? I got to hear the extended version to it, and I actually was impressed by it. It actually closed out the album, the regular edition, pretty well. But because the official version of it's like two minutes and eleven seconds, but the one I heard was like three minutes and thirteen seconds. So Kingdom Leaks did deliver. Uh, and I got a few more album reviews to do for this Friday, too, and a lot of track reviews. <laughs> uh, but Tucked is another interesting song. Harley's in Hawaii got a little boring. I don't know, I just wasn't that fond of the song, and Only Love kind of felt a little boring, too. Uh, I saw on an article when I looked up Katy Perry Smile where it says Katy Perry pivots to boring. And I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, is her album this bad? But I didn't think it was that bad. I thought it was not bad. I didn't, I wouldn't call it great. Uh, but it's an average album. Um, Smile, the other version featuring Diddy in it was not so bad. I'm not crazy about Diddy that much, but I think he did all right in this song. Uh, Small Talk is another good one. Is a decent one, I meant to say. And High on Your Supply was just... Eh. It was okay, I guess. But my favorite songs on here have got to be Daisies. Never Really Over, Smile, and the other Smile featuring Diddy in it. 
uh, Daisy's acoustic was alright, but I think it got better towards the second chorus and towards the bridge of the song for Daisy's acoustic, because her voice kind of cracked up when she was trying to sing Daisy's or whatever in the first chorus, towards the end of the first chorus, and I just wasn't that fond of it. Um, Champagne Problems was actually pretty catchy. Uh, Teary Eyes and Cry About It Later were alright songs. Sorry if I'm moving the camera too much. Um, Message from Katie was actually just her talking about the record and then she goes into this next part of the album which is the closing of the album from 15 to 19 which goes to small talk never worn white daisy's acoustic daisy's oliver heldon's remix and smile featuring diddy so overall i think this album is an average I'm not calling it great, uh, it's nowhere near great, but it's, it's something interesting. I think a lot of Katy Perry fans, if they really enjoy the direction she's going in, this is the album for you. And it is mainstream pop, so, yeah, I'm not crazy about too much mainstream pop, but there's certain songs on here that I will come back to. But out of uh, 10, I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. This was actually not too bad. I didn't hate it. I think this album's... Yeah, like I said, it's average. It's got some issues, but nothing too bad. But definitely comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Katy Perry album, Smile, if you've heard it. I actually heard the Target and plus Japanese deluxe for it, which is all 19 tracks. Uh, it doesn't show the smile featuring Diddy on the track list for Wikipedia, but it's there. It's like a hidden track, I think. Um, but And if you like this album review, comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. Tap a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel. I will be returning to you for From Ashes to News Panic Album with review, which I'm doing next. I gotta listen to it, but I was surprised. It's actually shorter than I thought. It's like 35 minutes and some seconds. Or 35 and a half minutes. And I'm like, damn, that's pretty short. <laughs> And then I'll be doing Seether's C Vis Pacem Parabellum album review, which stands for If You Want Peace, Prepare for War. I will be reviewing that uh, tonight sometime. I don't think I can come around to it sooner because I got to go to work at a certain time. I work during mid-afternoon all the way to the evening time. And then I'll be doing... Seven Dust is Blood from a Stone track review and Blackpink's news track review, which will be coming out. I gotta wait till it comes out on Kingdom Leaks because that's where I get my music. And definitely go check out that website if you want to download music. Uh, it's It definitely delivers. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this album review. Sorry that I didn't make any videos yesterday or uh, after I did my Tuesday album review. I just didn't have anything to review. I just wanted a little bit of a break for at least a day or so, a day or two. So I'm just hitting you guys up with a new album review for this coming up Friday's album reviews. But thank you for watching this album review for Katy Perry Smile. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next review.